Why do greyhounds roach? Perhaps the most puzzling, and certainly the most amusing of all greyhound behaviors is roaching. You'll notice a bumper crop of adorable roaching pups in today's video. You're not going to believe this, but every single one of these cuties has less than 1,000 views on YouTube. I've listed every single one of their channels below, so please stop by and give them some well-deserved attention. There are two types of roaching. In the first, the greyhound's merely relaxing on his back, often for the purpose of cooling off. The other type of roaching is when the dog lays on his back and writhes, often accompanied by groans or growling sounds. The reason for this type is that it stimulates the nerves and pressure points on the greyhound's lean back, which is an enjoyable experience for him. If you're concerned about this odd behavior, this video will inform you, put your mind at ease, and put a smile on your face. To probe other mysteries of this quirky beast, click the subscribe button and tap the bell to be the first to know when Lily and I put up a new video. It's all free. Reasons why the greyhound roaches. You may be surprised to know that there are actually two forms of greyhound roaching, namely the type that happens when he's resting and that which occurs when he's awake. I know, you're probably saying thank you, Captain Obvious. But they really are two completely different behaviors, each with its own cause and effect. Why the Greyhound Sleeps on His Back The most common reason your Greyhound will flip onto his back for a nap is that he's become too warm and he's trying to cool off. If you noticed, his belly is where his hair is the thinnest. You'll also see a network of blood vessels very close to the skin's surface. When he exposes his belly to the air, or better yet to a fan, it cools that blood running through that network of veins. The cooled blood travels through the dog's entire body, making him cool and comfortable, and <laughs> as you can see from the blissfully goofy look on his face. Are you curious as to why your greyhound doesn't roach? Stick around because I have some insight on that coming up in a few minutes. Why a greyhound roaches and writhes? The reason for the waking writhing roach is a bit more complex than that for the sleeping roach. Most owners agree that it's not only a physical expression of greyhound joy, but it also provides one heck of a back rub. Many of us, regardless of species, enjoy a good back rub. But why is the greyhound's reaction so crazy and over the top? Well, as Dr. Stanley Corrin says, at the structural level, the brains of dogs are similar to those of humans. So let's look at human biology for the reason and apply that to our fellow mammal, the greyhound. When we rub or scratch an area, we're actually producing a little bit of pain. Did you know that? The brain responds by releasing a chemical to soothe that pain, and it produces a good feeling in us. So it is for the greyhound as well. When he roaches, he's scratching his back, and since that back is extra long, it feels extra good. On top of that, the greyhound only has half the body fat of the average dog, and he completely lacks that extra layer of fat that dogs typically have. This means that his nerves are closer to the surface, so that's why scratching or roaching makes your greyhound so ecstatic. Respect the belly, a word of caution. Just because he's showing you his belly, that's not necessarily an invitation. If you suddenly start patting your greyhound's belly, it may startle him awake and he could snap or growl at you. Dog behaviorist Megan Heron says to be cautious when you approach to belly rub, even when the dog's awake. Always make some noise as you approach the roaching greyhound so he becomes aware of your presence. Talk to him, calling his name, and perhaps touch him in a more neutral area first before patting that glorious belly. Why doesn't my greyhound roach? Don't be alarmed if your greyhound never or rarely roaches. My first dog Peaches was this way. If your greyhound never roaches, it's usually due to one of the following four reasons. Insecurity. Anecdotal evidence suggests that only a small percentage of dogs sleep on their back to begin with. You'd never see a dog in the wild doing that. It would be unwise for him to put himself in such a vulnerable position. In Peach's case, she was a, a spook. That's a greyhound who's genetically very fearful. My father-in-law, who worked with racehorses for decades, was always quick to notice that Peaches slept, as he said, with an eye open and an ear cocked. Insecure dogs prefer to sleep belly down. It protects the belly and keeps them in a position where they can spring to their feet at the first sign of a threat. Arthritis. My second greyhound, Shannon, loved sleeping on his back when he was younger. As he aged, however, he developed severe arthritis. The weight of his legs sticking up was tough on his old joints, so his roaching phased out gradually. Old age. 
Another thing that happens as greyhounds age is the tendency to enjoy the heat more. It feels good on their old bones. Like old people, they don't get warm as easily as they did before, so your older greyhound may simply not feel inclined to flip onto his back to cool his belly. Lack of orthopedic support. A greyhound's flat back is beautifully designed for back sleeping. It's also, however, quite bony. Greyhounds need a lot of cushioning, some more than others. And that's why some greyhounds love to roach on the rug, but others will only roach on a thick lawn or on their beds. If your greyhound does not roach, and these first three reasons don't seem to fit, check his bed to see if it's supportive enough. Between four and six inches of padding are ideal under your greyhound. The pad should be replaced once a year, or have a fresh layer of egg crate foam placed under it. Here's some more information. I wanted to share some of the fun stuff I came across while researching for this video. First, there's this in-depth look at itching and its causes by Derek Dermatology. It's called Why Scratching Feels Good. Next was this intriguing insight into dog's dreams from Dr. Corin. It's in the Psychology Today blog, Canine Corner, and it's called Do Dogs Dream? Here's some good advice on safely petting your dogs from mentalfloss.com. This one's called The Right Way to Pet a Dog According to Veterinarians. Hey, while you're surfing the net, check out the text version of this video over at my website, greyhoundhomecare.com. Hey, does your greyhound hate 103 things? Well, I hope not, but he probably hates a few. I was able to find 103 things that are hated by a collective sample of greyhounds. Let's compare notes in my latest article, My Greyhound Hates 103 Things, The Truth About Greyhound's Preferences. And that's also over at greyhoundhomecare.com. Hey, finding fun, authentic greyhound swag is not always easy. For example, your local dog boutique may sell a greyhound on board sticker, like this one from the Greyhound Home Care store. But if you're one of many greyhound owners who has multiple greys, a sticker that says greyhounds on board is much more, well, it's just much more fun. Get yours today, and I'll see you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.